The higher your testosterone level, the more likely you are to disagree. So reducing testosterone levels make men more compliant and more complacent. They're succeeding. Testosterone levels are off the cliff. If you're looking for the next supplement or the next biohack that will increase your testosterone by a few percent, then this video is not right for you. After watching this video, you will finally understand why we have to fight to keep our testosterone up and you will learn practical ways to improve your testosterone that will serve you for a lifetime. The content presented here is all fake news. Let's start with chapter number one, the war on testosterone. In Western countries from 1973 to 2011, the average sperm count decreased from 99 million per milliliter to 47 million, a drop of more than 50% and a pace that, if it were to continue, could have an enormous impact. And I will start this with one very important message. They don't want you to have high testosterone and they don't want us to have healthy hormone levels. And this doesn't matter if you're a woman or if you're a man, this goes for you equally. Both of us need high testosterone and both of us need regulated estrogen and they don't want that because it doesn't serve them. Because having high testosterone means that you're an independent person, that you're an independent thinker, that you have your life in check, that you know what you're doing, that you know what you want and that you're fertile and you can make kids and also that you're aggressive and maybe we don't agree with every public agenda that they give on you. Testosterone is responsible for the development of a number of male physical characteristics, including hair patterns on the head. It also determines beard growth, affects muscles, and a man's overall personality. It's a much more complex hormone than some people might think. So in a nutshell, high testosterone means resilience. It means standing up. It means fighting. It means starting your own business. It means being a provider and it means following your own narrative and not the narrative that they are selling you. Realizing that something was wrong was a gradual process. It didn't happen overnight. I kept feeling worse and worse. I had no energy at all and no sex drive either. But I could feel something just wasn't right. And then I was diagnosed with depression. And I realized that something was seriously wrong with me. They want you compliant. They want you weak. They want you addicted to the media and to the things that they sell you. A decline in erectile function, a decline in sperm function and in sperm motility is their end motive. And they found the best way to do this ever by poisoning you. This is the bitter truth behind everything. They poison your food. They poison your environment. They poison your fragrances, they poisoned your bedroom, they poisoned your bathroom. And that's how they keep your testosterone low, and that's how they keep your estrogen up, and that's how they confuse your whole body and your whole system. And that's the issue with all these testosterone supplement boosters, with Sheila Jit, with Ashwagandha, with Tonkat Ali. I know all of them, I've tried all of them. Did they have a massive impact on myself? No, because they do not work. Yes, they might increase your testosterone by a few percentages, but you need to get your baseline up. You need to get your baseline to a level that's acceptable. Over the last 10, 15 years, we've seen a phenomenon where the younger and younger men are coming with low t. In true low t, testosterone levels low and symptoms of low testosterone and symptoms like being tired, uh, no energy, gaining weight, low motivation, anxiety, depression, low sex drive. So we're having now younger men experiencing what we used to think of an, uh, of an older man disease. What are normal testosterone levels? Normal testosterone levels for a man like you and me, they should be at a value of around 800 of total testosterone. Maybe even 1000, maybe even 1200. I have a level of 1000 200 naturally. On average, men have at least 8 to 12 nanomoles per liter of testosterone. Anything below that represents a deficiency. But the amount also depends on genetics. Women's testosterone levels are much lower, about 5 to 10 percent that of men's. They use the testosterone to synthesize estrogen, the primary female sex hormone. They are keeping you somewhere at like 200, 300, 400 at the level of an 80 year old person. And if you're at the testosterone level of this 80 year old person, then increasing it by a few percentages by taking super expensive supplements simply will not be the cure you're looking for. You cannot out meditate or out eat a bad hormone level. When your testosterone or your thyroid levels are low, it's like you don't have a good baseline for your physiology or for your psychology. So when you have a young man with low testosterone, this is a tragedy. Stop wasting money on these supplements and start realizing what is really harming your testosterone. Let me give you this metaphor. 50 years ago, 70 years ago, all the men, they had huge amounts 
amount of testosterone. They were healthy, they were hot, they were slim. Do you think they were taking ashwagandha, they were taking tonkat ali, they were taking all these weird supplements from China laced with heavy metals for hundreds of dollars? No, they did not take anything. They ate a good diet, they lived a healthy life and they had huge testosterone levels. And that's where you should be striving for and that's where you should be getting your role models from. We don't need additional new solutions from new providers to old problems. We just need to live a good life. And in this video, I will explain you now practical ways on how to implement this. The most practical, important ways you can do right now that completely transform your testosterone. If you follow every single thing I mention here, you will double your testosterone. I promise you that. That's how bold this claim will be. These changes, by the way, if you're a woman and you're still watching this, then I congratulate you because these changes, they will help you also massively. And all the men in your environment, be it your boyfriend, your husband, your son, or your dad, it doesn't matter. It's great for all of them. And additionally, you do not want to interrupt your hormones the same way that men's hormones get disrupted. So implement these changes and make a bold statement. If you already woke up, then now is a great time to hit that like button, to hit that subscribe button, and to follow me for more videos. Because maybe there will be that one video that completely changes your life. And isn't that worth watching more than some random television news out there? I hope so. Let's dive right into chapter number two. How to stop reducing your testosterone. Because how to stop reducing your testosterone is the trick on how to improve your testosterone. As I explained, you do not go from a baseline and then improve it by a little bit. You start from the bottom and by going to the normal levels, that's where the main improvement lies for most people. I will have six extremely potent, uh -huh, potent remedies for you that will increase your testosterone. Let's start with the first one and this might surprise you. Stop using perfumes and stop using perfumed ingredients. You and I know that smelling amazing and having these masculine deodorants and perfumes on us makes us feel more confident and bold and makes us feel sexy and attractive. I understand that. But I have two things to tell you that might change your perspective. The first one is actually a more practical one and a more lifestyle based one. If you want to find a life partner that fits to you and this should be the goal for most men in this age and the most important thing you can rely on is your organs your whole body what can you see does that woman does that partner look good for you what can you touch does it feel good most women feel pretty good and how does it smell and smell is such an important characteristic that determines our life partners smelling is literal neuroscience you women would love that it's all about the pheromones your body naturally secretes these smell hormones, these pheromones out of and by smelling somebody else, you will realize if that person fits to you genetically. It's been proven that people that smell good to us have a good genetic match to us. If you love how your partner or your potential partner smells, smell them under the armpit. If you love how they smell, then they might be a great fit for you. And by, of course, using perfumes, using deodorants, using all these fragrances, you will disrupt this natural cycle. And you might be with a woman that naturally disgusts you and smells bad. And that's because naturally she does not even fit your DNA, your basis of life. But if you want to find a good partner, this is the best dating hack I can give you. Stop using perfumes. But besides from that, what is even worse is that these perfumes and fragrances, they directly lower your testosterone levels by huge margins. And they do this with a substance called phthalates. Phthalates have actually been shown, if you want to make it even a little bit more spicier, have actually been shown to decrease the length of your pencil, if you know what I'm saying. They also are in relation to impotence, so to erectile dysfunction, so you literally cannot get it up anymore. To make it very simple, these phthalates, what they do is, your body thinks it's estrogen. So whenever you smell perfumes or you smell anything fragrance, and we're gonna come to that in a few seconds, then your body thinks it's estrogen in your body and your body then stops producing more testosterone because it's all a feedback loop inside your body. You produce testosterone, aromatase breaks this down to estrogen and based on these levels and feedbacks, this is how your body regulates. If you now give it huge amounts of fake estrogens that clog the receptors, then your normal testosterone function will just be disrupted. And these fragrances, Jeremy Fragrance, which is a funny guy, but he will also have ruined testosterone levels. I can promise you, no hate against him. He's cool. These fragrances, they're everywhere. They're in these, in these little sticks that people burn and smell. They're in these aromas. They're in these car fresheners. They're in this... Febreze thing that you make into the toilet when you gave a little big stinky poo, then you spray it everywhere. And whenever you smell them, it harms you. But of course, there's natural remedies, right? The first one is 
if you're not eating a shitty diet, if you're not smoking, if you're not drinking, then your smell will be fine. You will not sweat disgusting, gross things out of your armpits. That only happens if you have a shitty lifestyle. So fix your lifestyle and you will fix your smell for free. The next one is you can use natural remedies. You can use coconut oil. You can use lemon. You can use zinc oxide. Like there's many things you can put in your armpits that stop them from smelling. And the last one is in your room and in your apartment, what you can do is you can use aromatherapy. So some essential oils, they actually haven't been known negative effects of the essential oils on the human body and especially on testosterone. So that's another alternative you can be using. So first takeaway, throw away everything fragranced, everything perfumed. It doesn't matter if it's your bird cream. It doesn't matter if it's your perfume. It doesn't matter if it's your candle you're burning. Ban these things. The best smell is clean and clean smells like nothing. Clean smells just fresh, plain, clean. Clean is amazing. Next up, and that's the second biggest thing how we are harming ourselves is our diet. And I will just tell you the few main things you should be avoiding. The first one is soy and the second one is linseed. Soy and linseed are the foods with the highest concentration of phytoestrogens. Phytoestrogens, again, are the things in your body that mimic estrogen and that block receptors and that stop normal testosterone function. Soy is not a health food. Stop falling for the China study. Stop falling for the vegan propaganda. Soy is not a health food. Soy ruins your gut. Soy contains extreme amounts of phytoestrogens. It's never been proven safe. There are some studies showing, yeah, it doesn't harm us extremely, but why would you consume something that doesn't harm you extremely? Like, you should consume things that heal you that help you, that improve your life. So stop consuming soy, stop consuming tempeh, stop consuming anything soy-based. Fun fact, did you know soy protein isolate contains 8,800 micrograms per 100 milligrams of soy protein? Isn't that crazy? That amount is humongous. Using soy protein isolate for muscle building is the most retarded thing I could even think of. So ban soy out of your diet and ban tofu out of your diet. There's no way around this. I'm completely radical with this. Do not eat that. Point. Second biggest thing is and lion seed out of your life. Lion seed for a very short amount of time. Yeah, they can be okay. But linseed also contain huge amounts of phytoestrogens. They've been discovered 300 years ago from a dude and he said that this is a medicinal plant. This has to be used in a medicinal context. Why would you be taking medicine every day and you don't even know what that guy used it as medicine for? It was specific problems. It was problems with the hormones for women. It was problems with the digestion. If you take that every day, would you really take any medication every single day that has an effect that you don't even know about? I don't think so. Ban the linseed out of your diet. And if you do these two things, you will already massively decrease the chance that you will have issues from phytoestrogens. The third big tip, and this is what I love Eggy Abby about, is eat more eggs. You need cholesterol. Do not fall for the cholesterol lie. Cholesterol will not kill you. Having fucked up hormones, having fucked up phthalates in your body and bloodstream will fucking kill you. Why should you eat more eggs? I eat four eggs a day. Even my one-year-old son eats a whole egg a day, and he will do this for the rest of his life, at least until he's living there. I hope he doesn't turn vegan, but whatever, I will still love him. But eggs contain cholesterol. Cholesterol is used by your body to build up 25 different hormones. And one of those hormones is testosterone. The testosterone molecule, it looks exactly like cholesterol. It just has some additional groups, but it's pretty much cholesterol. If you do not have enough cholesterol, you will not have enough testosterone. If you're eating a diet that completely eliminates all eggs, that completely eliminates all cholesterol, then you will never have optimal testosterone levels. So simple thing, eat more eggs. Two bonus tips, if you really want to optimize your diet that I can highly recommend you quit. Do not drink spearmint tea. Spearmint tea has also lots of phytoestrogens. Do not consume licorice. Licorice directly reduces testosterone. So the licorice root is no good for you. And the third one is the reishi mushroom. The reishi mushroom also has been shown to directly reduce testosterone levels. Reishi is great for the immune system. It's great for cell diseases, but it's not great for testosterone. So those are the main takeaways of this chapter. Quit soy tofu, quit lanseed, quit the reishi, quit licorice, quit spearmint, and eat more eggs. It's that simple. Everything else with your diet, do whatever the fuck you want. Eat meat, eat carnivore, eat animal base, eat rapeed, eat a good diet. By the way, I'm gonna post a video about how to eat optimally the optimal human-based diet and it's not the animal-based diet that you hear confused. If you're curious, follow the channel. The third point, stop wearing these tight boxers, please. Heat has been shown to directly reduce the production of testosterone. If you compress your whole genital area always with these tight boxers, then you're producing a lot of heat and between your thick ties, your balls always get squeezed together. And this also disrupts normal production of testosterone. And to make matters even worse, most of these boxer 
briefs. They are produced with materials like recycled plastics, like recycled PVCs, like all these materials. And these materials, again, and you will listen to this in a later point, are one of the main issues you're having with our testosterone. So ban boxer briefs out of your life. Get some comfortable cotton linen, whatever. Go commando. Try to wear loose pants around your genital area. The more you compress it, the more you harm yourself. Will this have an impact one day or two days? Unlikely. Will this have a big impact in five years? Maybe. Will this have a big impact if you're doing this from year one to year 30 of your life? Likely, yes. There's no study on it. Why would there be a study? Who would want to prove that these things cause infertility after 30 years? Like there's literally no incentives. And this is a little rant on the side, but all these things we are talking about, all this living toxin free, what's the incentive of studying this? Who would get money? Do you realize how much money it would cost to make a 30 year study proving that something causes infertility? This is just not feasible and there's just no financial benefit. There's no company that tries to study this. This is why we have no science on this. And this is why when I say this people will be like oh, debunked no there's no science on it yeah bunk me all you want but you cannot explain the massive levels of infertility you cannot explain the massive decline in testosterone you do not want to listen to the solutions that have been proven because the correlations and the connections here they have been proven we know heat reduces testosterone we know lines it contains future estrogens future estrogens reduce testosterone we have the singular studies here of course we don't have the whole picture but we need to think we need to use our mind and that's what you're here for and that's why you're already above all the other ones that you're, you're part of the one percent and i'm very thankful of you for being part of this community next up we have plastic we're living in a fucking plastic world you know the barbie song with the life in plastic is fantastic that was the first brainwashing material that they put on us but there's plastic in everything your potatoes are wrapped in plastic your food is wrapped in plastic all every every product you have is wrapped in plastic the clothes you wear on your skin are literally plastic microplastic recycled particles and the funny part about plastic is and this is the illustration why it's so great is it's so durable like it doesn't break it bends and it bends because there's chemicals inside it like bpa that make it bend and these bpas like i explained earlier are massive endocrine disrupt are massive disruptors to your testosterone synthesis so what can you do the simple solutions i'm a guy that likes to always give the remedies instead of just complaining about the issues first use wood and steel this goes for anything if it's possible use wood or steel be it your the chair you're sitting on be it the pan you're cooking with throw away your non-stick pans just throw them away don't be sad about the 20 bucks get one stainless steel pan for 40 bucks the cool hack the stainless steel pan will last your lifetime however long you will be living this will be good forever the non-stick pans are good for one year and then they look all scratched and fucked up you will save money in the end and you will also save your health because they're always leaching lead and always leaching plastics in your food get a non-stick pan stop touching receipts whenever you touch a receipt you get in the grocery store that thing is full of sticky bpas the lettering is sticky bpas that sticks to your skin for a long time and that disrupt your hormones so stop touching receipts if you have any cool more hacks for everyday life that you did, maybe swaps that you have interest in, swaps from plastic to something else, please leave them down in a comment. Let's build this community up. Let's empower ourselves. The next uncomfortable truth, point five, stop being fat. And just to illustrate and make you understand this, in a human body, in a male, normal, male the fat cells are there to convert testosterone to estrogen and this conversion from testosterone to estrogen happens via aromatase we are the enzyme aromatase and this enzyme is mainly produced and supported by your fat cells so the more fat cells you have the more you convert your testosterone to estrogen which means on the flip side if you reduce your fat cells you also reduce the aromatization so you also reduce the conversion from testosterone to estrogen so you have more testosterone and less estrogen so stop being fat reduce the amount of fat cells you have and i will just give you one thing because i hate talking about fat loss and bulking and all these things all the time calories are complete bullshit do not fall for the calorie scam people are dieting on twinkies but they're ruining their hormone levels their gut health they're ruining everything else in the process calories are not the answer to diet especially not if you want to live 80 years you cannot spend 80 years counting calories what you can simply do is and i will release a video on the optimal diet but what you can do is you eat healthy food you eat non-toxic 
toxic food. You eat food that fills you up. If you eat these kind of foods and you don't cheat on bullshit foods, you don't even buy the bullshit foods, then you will lose fat automatically. The second big fat loss hack I have to use is the sun. If you spend four hours in the sun every single day without sunscreen and without sunglasses and you're still gaining fat, then please write me a personal message on my personal WhatsApp and I will consult you for free. It doesn't work like that. If you're in the sun enough and you're eating non-toxic food, then you will lose weight. Your body has no chance but to lose weight. Mark these words. My offer still stands whenever you watch this video. So the main takeaway was stop being fat. It's the sad truth, but fat people have lower testosterone. Fat people have more estrogen. If you're not fat, then congratulations. This is already a great thing. And the last hack, and I just mentioned this to you already, but it's just so important, is get out in the sun. The sun is the most magical free healing tool we have. They demonized the sun. They told you you need to wear sunglasses to look cool. Sunglasses are awful for us. If you wear sunglasses, glasses then this means light cannot enter into your retina into your eyes and if light cannot enter the eyes and activate the receptors inside your eyes your body will simply not producing natural sunscreen and sun protectant so by wearing sunglasses you reduce your ability to resist a sunburn the next up is we have sunscreen by using sunscreen you stop the sun from healing you you stop the sun from activating your pumps receptors so by wearing more sunscreen you literally negate the sun then you can just also stay on the inside. The sun will heal you if you go to it with natural methods. I will also be talking more about the sun in the future because the sun is the most important and free healing tool available to everybody and I wish more people would be using the sun to heal their diseases. Just understanding it right now, the sun will also produce vitamin D with your skin. You probably know this already but vitamin D is a steroid hormone. It's a literal hormone that has steroidal activity and the sun directly and the vitamin D directly increase your testosterone levels massively. They decrease aromatization. Again, I explained the aromatization. So if you want healthy, optimal testosterone levels, you need the sun. Let me end this video with this important takeaway that will simplify your choices in your life. Try to imagine how a man in the 1950s and the 1960s lived. Do you think he was wearing sunglasses? Do you think he used copious amounts of sunscreen? Do you think he ate Kellogg's for breakfast? Do you think he was using plastic and smelling some weird lavender oil all the time? Do you? Do you think that man really was fat? Do you think that man was using soy protein isolate and was wearing boxers made of recycled plastics? No to all these things. Try to live more like that man and your testosterone levels will be reflected by that man. You do not need expensive supplements. Save your money. The most important hack to increase your testosterone is to ban the things out of your life that are ruining it. If you, and I promise you this, if you were living a healthy life, a toxin-free life, your testosterone would be great. You would feel amazing. All these things I mentioned to you, yes, they reduce your testosterone massively and studies show this, but they also have other harmful consequences on you. Live a more natural life, connect back with nature and you will be healthy. I promise you this. And this is what I stand for with my name. And this is why I quit the traditional medicine because I realized they are not making us healthy. They're keeping us trapped away from natural health. Stay strong and wake up.